Hello and welcome to Legacy of Leaders. I'm Chuck Coker, your host for today, and I've got a very special guest with me. You've probably seen him. His name is Mike Burrish, and he is Action News Jack's weatherman. Mike, welcome. It's good to have you Thank here you, today. Thank you, Chuck. Good to be here. Thanks very much. I was excited when I found out that you were going to be on the program today because anybody that gets interested in weather in the second grade yeah. and sticks with it uh, has a story to tell. So tell me that story. That's a long calling, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, second grade. All I, I, I get asked all the time, what got you into the business? What got you into meteorology? What got you into weather? And, and I'm in TV because of weather. And that started back in the second grade, literally, when I, I grew up in a little town in Iowa. And I remember the teacher saying, gosh, look, it's snowing outside, but the sun is shining at the same time. And of course, we all ran to the windows. And we looked out. And we were amazed. And I was hooked. And uh, the weather in the Midwest is crazy even crazier than Jacksonville. And um, so from there, I, uh, I uh, met the TV weather guy that was near us, TV meteorologist, a couple of times. He was my mentor, uh, more or less, going through college. I picked my college um, in eighth grade. I was accepted in 10th grade. To, I had put out several applications and uh, chose Oklahoma University in 10th grade because I was interested in thunderstorms and went there as a um, freshman right out of a little town in Iowa of uh, 2,000 people to a campus of 40 or 45,000 people. I'll never forget my mom and dad dropping me off to this day. And uh, can you remember what I was wearing? And uh, it was sink or swim. So I tried to swim, and here I am. Wow, that's amazing. So from Iowa to Oklahoma, how would you get to Jacksonville? That's a great question, too. Um, I actually ended up finishing my meteorology and earth science studies at Iowa State in the end. I went back closer to home and then got my first TV job in Des Moines, Iowa for just about two years. And then I moved to Cincinnati, Ohio for 11 years and um, was working there, several different weather shifts there and doing some weather reporting, environmental reporting. And then Jacksonville called, off offered me an opportunity to be the chief meteorologist at this new place called CBS 47 because it didn't exist prior to, to yeah. me arriving. That was about when we launched in Fox 30, and that was 21 years ago, and here we are. Well, wow. well, what was the biggest obstacle you had to overcome in your business, Mike? Well, when I was younger, you know, uh, when you're younger and in the TV business, younger doesn't necessarily uh, translate real you well. Have some of this, right? Yeah. See, th this is good. <laughs> Losing this much hair has been good for me in my career, uh, and now it's going gray also. Um, so it, that was probably the biggest thing was was um, was developing a rapport with everyone and um, people understanding that they can count on you in your job and your business and work ethic. And so that's what we did. That's what I did. I worked hard. I worked a lot of hours. My wife will tell you that. My kids will tell you that. Um, and I still do. But um, uh, it's it's building that dependability. That um, that being able to count on someone. Uh, and at that at, at a young age to me was probably the biggest challenge because I felt like I could do everything. Um, I think a lot of young people think that probably right. But I wasn't offered that opportunity necessarily. Although I had great options and opportunities, and, and I cut my teeth, no doubt, in Des Moines, Iowa, small TV market. Cincinnati, I had a, many, many opportunities, traveled to Africa and did a, a documentary there with the Cincinnati Zoo, um, and I've come here and, and I've been able to, um, to establish myself. I think, you know, we, Jacksonville's home for us, so it's been good. So you're going to stay here for a while. We are staying. Yes, we are. I love the warm. I love the winters. I still have a shovel from back home uh, that I hang in the garage. And my wife's always like, why don't you get rid of this shovel? And I said, because every time I walk by it during the winter, I just smile a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, well, great. Well, let me ask you this. How can someone make a difference right at home? You know, that that's my mantra. Um, so many people work. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a mindset, you know, let's make other places better. But I'm always a why not make where we are better, right here mm -hmm. at home. And so I've been active within the community in a number of different ways. And I so feel that the mission should be at home, first and foremost, really. Because it's not a perfect place, no matter where you are. And Jacksonville is certainly one of the, it's a, it's a melting pot of a lot of different cultures and languages and socioeconomic 
uh, situations. And so I've always said, you know, let's start at home. So I've been busy with the Salvation Army here for many, many years. We do, I do a lot of work with them, a lot of fundraising. I've gotten to know very well um, Gabriel House of Care, which is the Mayo Clinic, and that's a a place where they house people that are going through transplants at Mayo Clinic. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a world-renowned clinic right Very here at home. Very familiar with them. And um, I've also recently done quite a bit of work with uh, Villages, Village of Hope, which is on the west side of Jacksonville, and they're building a tiny house community where uh, they're working with women that have been trafficked. Um, amazing stories, amazing stories. These are good people that just need a chance. Yeah. Uh, and so, to me, uh, making homes a little better place is 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 where it is, and I love that option and that opportunity. I've never wanted to. People have always asked me, "Are you going to go to that next level?" Well, I'm getting too old now, but are you going to go to that next level of national news or or weather or whatever it might be? And I have no desire. I've always wanted to be local and in the community. Never been happier. That's great. Well, Mike, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank I you. really it's a pleasure. appreciate your time. I hope you'll come back next time and join us at Legacy of Leaders. I'm Chuck Coker, your host, and thanks so much for joining us today.